your company on another edition of DXB today. I hope you're enjoying the show wherever you're tuning in from. Talking all things step this evening on the show. Uh, let's get our next guest into the mix. Uh, joining us now is the founder of Mutahadith. It is Jesse L. Moore. Jesse, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Uh, uh, let's talk relationships, if we can, because mm. I understand. Oh, no. I understand. <laughs> can we skip? It's, it's that kind of show, all right? <laughs> all right? Yeah. It's, it's, we, are, we kick off by talking relationships, because <laughs> I understand you've had a long-term relationship with Step Conference. Is that right? Yeah. So I, I, I was I waiting. I was worried oh, about this for him going. No, when do you know that? I don't know. <laughs> talk to me about your relationship what with Step. What do you know that I should be aware of? <laughs> yeah, so... The first year I covered Step as a journalist for Sky News was around 2015. Back then, as a journalist and a producer of my own uh, segment on, e uh, on startups, finding guests was very hard, specifically founders who are also Arabic speakers who are from the region. And I remember the first time I walked into uh, Step Dubai 2015, I told my cameraman, oh, I have my guests for the next 12 months. It was like a treasure trove. And it was as a journalist, it was, um, and also now as a founder, it was the first time I come face to face with that uh, small business ecosystem and learned a lot about what it means, where do small businesses start? And most of them start at home. So that was my first encounter. And then since then I've been uh, covering it up until hosting panels and fireside chats. Been ever present, ever since. I don't know. Ever they don't like happened. me, I like them. It's a good relationship. <laughs> well, Jesse, I also want to talk to you about your company, Mutahadith. Can you please tell us more about it? Yeah, so Mutahadith is uh, the Arabic word for the speaker. And around two years ago, I took this uh, dip that I've been dreaming of, starting my own uh, coaching and training business, specifically coaching and training executives on how to strategically deliver messages on camera, off camera, in boardrooms. And a lot of it goes to women as well. Uh, we tend not to be as assertive as men in the corporate world. And a lot of it comes from our own um, upbringing, sometimes um, a society, sometimes the way you know our childhood went on, our education went on. So that's in essence what Mutahaddis does along with the media advisory. Mm. Without being biased, has Steph played a role oh, in becoming a founder? <laughs> You know, I can't say it hasn't because, um, again, back in the day, 2015, 2016, the idea of me uh, starting my own business was very um, not informed. So in my mind, back when I was a journalist, oh, I can't start a company now. I need millions and millions, right? So in my mind, oh, I need a loan or I need investors. I can't start my company. So I didn't know a lot of stuff. And events like STEP helped me meet founders, interview them, learn so much more, from yeah. them. And the biggest lesson I learned is no, you don't have to have a fascinating capital to start. And that's why I basically bootstrapped and, and self-funded my own small business and, and learned the idea of literally of starting a business, yeah. literally, like, yeah, step by step. Um, okay. Yeah, so, okay, That's you amazing. take credit. <laughs> <laughs> little credit. A little credit. All the credit's for you. For you know, fact. Jesse, you mentioned a little bit earlier about women not being quite as assertive in the business environment. I actually just saw something online the other day that said that, um, I wish brilliant women had the same confidence as a mediocre man. Yeah. And women sometimes, uh, myself included, are so overly apologetic sometimes. Sometimes you just lack that backbone to really ask the question or demand something because there is some sort of fear or blockage that's stopping us. What is the advice that you have for the women watching, especially female entrepreneurs, that you can share through your many years of experience? I will share this advice that I read in a book by David Schwartz, that's, um, it's called the, Ar the Magic of Thinking Big. The advice is very simple, and it says, everything that's blocking you or us in life, let's say you're, you're afraid of uh, starting a business, of ending a relationship, of starting a relationship, of asking for a raise or a promotion, everything that's blocking us is based in fear. Uh, fear of rejection, fear of getting that no, fear of someone thinking something else of you, fear. And he and David says it's simple. The opposite of fear is action, okay? And the friend of fear is inaction. So anything you're afraid of, if you do nothing about it, it will eat you up. And if you think about it, it, it rings so true. If you're so afraid of starting a business, I, my advice is start a business. 
If you're so afraid of giving a presentation, give a presentation. What's going to happen? You're going to make a mistake? Very good, because that's how you learn. And we need to also talk a lot about our fear of failure. And we need to start embracing failure as the perfect educator. I've learned so much from my own mistakes that I now I'm, I'm actually happy when I make a mistake. Uh, hopefully one that doesn't cost me too much money, but uh, <laughs> the good lessons you learn are those who cost you a lot, time, money, or effort. I like the, the say, I don't know who said it, it says the biggest risk you can take is not taking a risk. Correct. So, Very true. Big risk. Just, just finally, and we've only got about 30 seconds left, Jesse, but I mean, back to this sort of, the running theme of the conversation we're having today. Is there something in the water here? Would you have founded something somewhere else in the world or was there a Dubai push? Probably not. I'm going to I'm going to say that um, f for sure. If I wasn't here, I don't think I would have founded it this early on. Yeah. Uh, plus, being a woman, I found a lot of support as a woman founder that you could not find uh, somewhere else, be, be it uh, your own business bank account, being the women business groups that helped me get the ABCs. I have a lot of media background. I don't have any finance background, any um, accounting background, uh, any law background. You need all of these to start a business. So I'm pretty sure had I not been here, no, I would not have started my business this early on. It's proven, there is something in the water. Yes. <laughs> the entrepreneurial well, spirit is in the water. <laughs> yes. yeah. Well, Jesse, thank you so much for joining us on today's show. Ash, you've got the XB in 60 yes, right now. Yes, I do. Right, are you ready for this, Ray? Yep, yeah. okay, so you need to answer as many questions as possible within 60 seconds, all right? Your time is three, two, one, let's go. If you weren't the founder of STEP, what would you be doing? Oh, several things. <laughs> One of them being a chef, I, I, I love cooking, so I'd like to be a chef. Others being pilot or I don't know. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's very diverse ambitions. Your motto in life and in work? Can you say again? Your motto in life and in work. Ooh. Well, I said it earlier, the biggest risk you can take is not taking a risk. Uh, that's, I guess, that's more work. When it comes to life, I think it's, it's mostly about just like being net positive at the end of the day once we you know leave this world just at the end of the day for every person that you know talk about impact whatever for me it's as simple as i think your you 60 know. seconds are almost up okay okay oh, for so all I'm the just questions gonna ask oh, for you. one okay. <laughs> um your top podcast recommendation my top podcast i've been listening recently to the all in podcast Okay, well, okay, so unfortunately your time is up, but I'm going to squeeze in one last question. Why Dubai? It's the place where you can, you know, achieve the, the Arab dream or the Dubai dream. Absolutely. Thank you so much. You've done okay. I'm not, I'm not going to say you've been <laughs> one of our best contestants in the DXB 60 <laughs> quiz, but you did your best. Thank you so much. Thank it was you. a lot of fun. <laughs> Cheers, Ray. Right. Thanks for guest co-hosting today. All the best with uh, Step coming up yeah, as Thank well. you, guys. Uh, all the best with that and uh, definitely catch up with you soon. And Jesse, bless you. Thank you much indeed thank for your you. time. Thanks, in fact, to all of our guests. Sounds like I'm wrapping things up, but don't go anywhere because we've still got plenty to look forward to. Arif B is going to be playing us out live tonight and there's prize giveaways as well. Stay with us.